on the next kill count. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been five months since Immaculate came out, and we haven't done a kill count for it yet. God will never forgive you. Uh, well, that's a bit much, don't you think? I'm sorry. All is forgiven. Just say five Hail Lucys and we'll move on. Immaculate is the story of a novice sister named Cecilia who transfers to a convent in Italy after a near-death experience. That sounds terrifying. It makes her think God has saved her life to serve a special purpose. But what could it be? I must have drank too much wine. Embarrass myself. No, that can't be it. People do that all the time. It's probably something more conceptual, having to do with the movie title. You are with child. There it is. Now, don't get confused. This isn't the first omen. It's just pretty much exactly the same as the first omen. Fuck this. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Sydney Sweeney does a great job. Thank you. I don't mean that as a compliment. Well, I did. You're probably just jealous she got to make out with Glenn Powell. <sighs> anyway, this week, get thee to a nunnery to watch Immaculate. Make sure you brush up on your Italian. It's fine, I will translate for you. Then on Friday, make a break for the kill count. Oh God, ouch! Only on dead meat. What's inside you is our success. Immaculate can currently be watched on the pictured streaming platforms. Dead Meat always recommends you watch the movie for yourself before its kill count. It's the only way to have your own properly informed opinion. Kill counts are never meant to replace the experience of watching a film. <laughs>